I am not responsible for any of the humor in this skit. This is entirely Sam's doing. That is my message. Okay. I am absolved of any responsibility here. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, Sam. I'm from Earth. I, I know who you are. Yeah. You know that? Really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Max. <laughs> it's, it's me, Sam. Yeah, hey. We, we used to play in the orphanage together. Oh, right. So you're like Max, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm a far, far cousin from Max. Yeah. But I have that strange disease that I have a nut allergy. Uh -huh. And I forget things. You, you filming over there? Yeah, yeah, so I can re watch it at night and then remember who I am and what I did. Can you tell me in which world are we living? I don't know what world you're living in. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, we're living in the world of Elysium. And uh, it's the future, it's 2154. Yeah. Elysium is a space station that um, was built uh, to house the rich. So they, they built it as an escape for themselves. So it's a bunch of really nice mansions floating in space. Okay. It's, it's, okay. it's basically paradise on Earth. Welcome. Ah, oh, hello, madam. It's nicer than Earth. Okay. So yeah, you want to get up there. It looks glossy, it's just like Hollywood. It's like, it's, it's beautiful on the surface, but underneath, it's you know, rotting, yeah, so it's, like, it's ah, maybe yeah. a little bit rotten yeah. underneath. As you know, on Elysium, they have healthcare. They have those med bays that you lie in and they completely re-atomize you. Why do I have to go to Elysium? Elysium. Well, remember. something happened to you in the first act. Yeah. You see, you got you got irradiated at work. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, you can cure yourself of almost any disease. Um, so it sounds like that's also something that would be quite good okay. for you. Even nut allergy? Yes. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to get yourself into one of those med bays and, and sort yourself out. So do you think that that machine um, can make me look like Matt Damon? Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. okay. But you're a good looking dude, you don't need oh, that. Thank you. Yeah, thank you'll you. survive. Yeah, that's because we're distant <laughs> Oh, cousins, it's related. We're related. Yeah, yeah, I see. Like good, good genes. Max, I've heard that you're trying to get to Elysium. Yes. I need to get to Elysium. Whoever has this has the power to override their whole system. Hey, bring down the bone saw! This ain't gonna kill me. You can save everyone. We're gonna break into the most heavily guarded place in the universe. Oh yeah. Um, so how does it look on Earth? I actually forget how it looks outside. Well, uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty dire on Earth. Yeah, okay. it's not very good. Uh, L.A. almost looks like some of the worst places in Mexico City. What Earth. happened was uh, the the rich kept getting richer, and yeah. the poor kept getting poorer, and the rich left and uh, left Earth as a, as a broken, very damaged planet. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've heard that they're trying to, to download um, brains and brain information. Yes. Um, if you could download a brain, uh, which which one would it be? That's a great question. I like that question. Hmm. Whose brain would I choose? Hmm, interesting. Stephen Hawking or uh, living or dead? Both. Uh, you know Einstein. Einstein. That would be a good, that would be a good, a good brain to have. A theoretical physicist. Like mm -hmm. um, I always think that my grasp of mathematics and and like you know quantum theory and stuff is not very good. Mm -hmm. So that would be that would be a good thing to plug in. Was Jesus a real person? See, that's what I yeah, want to yeah, know. I, yeah, I'd yeah, suck yeah. his brain now. I want to see, like, did he raise from the dead? 
Like I'm very curious in that. I'd, I'd really okay, like yeah, to know. So maybe I'd take his brain just to answer that question. I've bought a text that we used to, we used to sing it in, 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 in the orphanage, but um, you can also read it. It's from the, our favorite artist is, is from Beethoven. Uh -huh. um, the Ninth Symphony. Uh -huh. uh, maybe um, can you read it to us so I can remember how the melody was. You know, I'm so. I'm just. You know, I never learned to read. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> Which is that. why I want to download one of these brains right. so I can that's actually. Actually, true. I can know, remember. We're both illiterate. Yeah, don't you remember? That's, uh, <laughs> Come on, Sam. I, I you want me? You want me to be Kruger now? Uh, yeah. Is well, that what you're asking? I've heard you. And I've now you want me to, to, to do like an Earth language? Yes. Eh? Yeah. Maybe. You want, you, what, do you think I'm like a performing monkey, but? No, eh? no. no. Eh? You think I'm a fucking performing monkey, but? Mm -hmm. Eh? Eh? So Film this. Film this. You're not welcome here, but. Take your earth languages, speak them on earth. Right. Take your earth languages, speak them on earth. Speak them on earth. Activate Kruger. Agent 32 Alfred. Shoot them down. an agent who lives on Earth that they use in order to do terrible things, like a CIA agent, but a lot dirtier. Apprehend the target at all costs. I will find you! I will hunt you down! We play a little game on okay. Earth. Okay. Uh, I just this time I'll play the game. Oh. I won't tear it up, I promise. Sure. No tearing up of your game this time. Um, I'll just, stay as Sholto and then I'll then then you'll have me much more cooperative, you see. Thank you. This provokes me to get into character. Really? That's what you did to yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's okay. I just say a word and you say the first thing that pops, pops into, into my, my mind. mind. Okay. Elysium. Uh, fields of wheat. Paradise. Uh, Elysium. Hell. Uh, Elysium. <laughs> uh, Africa. Uh, hijackings. Home. Uh, robots. The Bjork video by Chris Cunningham. Next film I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, politics? Obama. Uh, complicated. Video games? Um, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. <laughs> um, Many lost hours. Fun. Do you have an advice to all humans and to people who want to go to Elysium? Yeah, don't. Come. <laughs> we like it there. My advice would be to save up because it's about uh, one billion US dollars for each citizenship card, so save up. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very it's much. It's pricey. Yeah. It's, it's a bit, bit, yeah. Yeah. You think I can make it there? You'll get there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, dude. There, there was an anchor in 2013, very famous, and uh, it's, his name is Jimmy Kimmel. If he could watch this, what yeah. message do you have for him? No, no, I'm hoping that he didn't survive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hoping something horrible happened to him. Maybe he's the, the president of... Uh, oh God, no. <laughs> I like this, man. It's good. Thank you very much. Yeah, interesting interview. All right, man. It was, well, don't cut yourself. Great. Thank cool. you very much. Thank you, man. If you see the movie, then you think about maybe um, people coming to Italy with the boats exactly. or something like yeah, that. Yeah. So, um, in, in Europe. In Europe. And then in, you know, in America, it's like Mexico jumping across the border. Um, that's the cool thing about the film, it can be applied anywhere. Yeah. Why um, do you think we always need movies to then think about how life is now? I don't know, I don't know if we need movies to think about it. I think, I think it goes the other way around. Like what happens for me is if you're, if you're a filmmaker, you look around at mm -hmm. the world around mm -hmm. you and then you start to make films out of those topics. You know, it just naturally happens. And what, what is the message, maybe, of, of Elysium? It doesn't really have a message. It's more, it's more just looking at, at poverty and at wealth through a different lens. So it, doesn't really, it shouldn't really have a message. It should be more like a different way of looking at Earth today. Last time I tried to see you, my hair was... I had a little haircut. You did, that's right. Now yeah. I can see you better. Yeah. I am Willy. The brother of Odin, so... My uncle. Your uncle. It's good to see you. 